ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K23, I know what y'all thinking. JJJ, how on earth did you come up with another fire jump shot this quickly? Let me tell y'all something, man. Y'all know how Uncle Demi and Joe knows be in the in in the mill in the builder. Watch this. He's gonna step back and shoot that and make sure it's a three. That's that's what's so dope about this jump shot. You know how they be in the builder? I be in the lab, bro. I be in this jump shot lab putting together different colors. Look at look at him step back so you make sure you're shooting the three. That's key. But look, I be in this lab, man, in the jump shot lab, man, and I am making sure that I find the best jump shots, the best releases, and the best release combinations. Y'all already saw I done dropped y'all two jump shots that was able to be used by people from 5'9 to 6'10. Bro, who else is doing that, man? Ain't nobody else doing that, man. Nobody else is making jump shots for people from 5'9 to 6'10. Now, this is not one of those, man, because those videos seem like they're not doing you know as much as i would want them to but this jump shot right here yet another one for uh for guys that are six five to six nine which i think is the the biggest demographic in 2k and with the 80 plus three ball i think that's really my niche man because anybody like i can really make them it's it's not hard to make them once you're 85 and above or on up there well uh, but the guys that are down here with us with that look at him step back and make sure he shoots the three the guys that are down here with us man they are um you know they, they be struggling a little bit man because we ain't got all the badges we don't have everything and this is my center man so like i said before we get started make sure y'all like the video and comment green down below i'm late on that comment green down below man because that's gonna help us out and uh like i said this is this might be the last month that we do it because like i don't know what it's really doing but every single friday we give away 50 dollars in vc cash out or we give away a copy of a video game. All you got to do is like the video, and you can comment green down there below or or something like that. That's that's off it glitch. Oh, I hit it. Okay, you can comment anything that you want to, but you can comment green if you don't know what to comment. That's number one. Number two, and this is the more important one. Uh, if we can average 8K views this month, we're gonna be giving away a next gen console, whether it be a PlayStation, uh, a Xbox, or 500 bucks. I might just give away a Xbox by itself, bro. Um, because like I said, them joints is like 2.30 right now. So I might give away an Xbox. We're going to see how that goes, man. But without further ado, man, I appreciate y'all watching this joint. Oh, yeah, the box. The box is down there, man. Make sure y'all don't feed the box. You see it? Look at him step back and shoot that thing, man. Oh, the box is down there, man. Make sure y'all ignore the box, man. I'm not putting my phone number down there. And, uh... And this is, I already knew that. I, I was out of energy. Um, I'm not putting my phone number down there. And I'm only on Instagram and, uh instagram and look at him step back you see how far he stepped back on that one but i'm only on instagram and i'm only on uh twitter man so don't pay no attention to that let me hit one of them step back shots uh i'm not don't pay no attention to that man i'm on instagram and twitter if i don't tell you to hit me up there don't hit me up nowhere else and with all that out of the way let me show y'all this jump shot bro i think that we found something chat but look though like i said i think the time it, like when he's stepping back like when you're kind of on the line and he wants to step back I think that's affecting the time, and I ain't gonna lie to y'all. We're gonna wait for a second though. But anyway, this jump shot, the main thing that y'all are seeing is it's 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 hard to shoot these shots and talk at the same time and try to be entertaining. So you know it is what it is. The main thing with this jump shot is that was the main thing. That he steps back to shoot it. And the tail, we're gonna talk about the tail in a second, man. But this is the jump shot. First things first, timing early. The timing is on early. We got the timing there for y'all. I know a lot of people, uh, they always want to know what the timing is. And I'm going to say it here just in case y'all uh, have fast forwarded past it. The timing on this jump shot is early. This is the jump shot. The timing is early. The numbers are great or as good as you're going to be able to get for somebody 6'5 to 6'9 and also has a 83-point uh, rating, bro. And the biggest thing about this is no matter what, it's hard to be late on it. So even when you get the fast one, it's still kind of hard to be late on it, man. So uh, this is it right here. Uh, OG Ananobi, I love this base, man. This is one of the best bases in the game. I'm going to find another base that's got everything that I want when I'm building these joints. But OG, I had to revisit OG and put something else on it, man. Trevor Reza is uh, release number one, 66%. Pascal Siakam is release number two at... Uh, at uh 34 now what you can do is you can move it down and like it like you can move it toward pascal and it'll go more above his head or what have you but you start losing rating there 
if you go right here that'll be up above his head a little bit more but like i said you're you're on the cusp of losing some um you're on the cusp of losing some of your uh, your defensive uh immunity but these are the biggest two things man defensive immunity and impact time and i think are some of the are some of the best uh things to do uh in this joint man i want to show y'all another one that i was using with this though uh i was using also if you can't get it you can use this gary trent jr and this will take it um this one here is also a good one it don't go down to 79 but you can move this gary trent jr literally anywhere and it's gonna stay you know all the stuff is gonna stay and uh it'll look good and then like it'll go above his head but for me i have been using the one that i've been using like i said i felt like this pascal siakam it's a little bit smoother and like i said we can move it to right here so y'all can see what it is if you put it at 55 45 i feel like it makes the jump shot a little bit faster and uh we're gonna we're gonna go look at that in a second but like i said that's the jump shot the timing once again is early timing make sure y'all put that on early timing or whatever you prefer but for me it's on early timing my shooting badges are as follows you see I got limitless range on blunt bronze. I got corner specialist. I got agent three and I got green machine. You don't have to have these on like this, man. To be honest with you, you could probably put on catch and shoot and not have agent three. Agent three to me, I had it on. Like, this is what I've been running the last couple of days. And um, I, I feel like I've been very consistent with it. I don't even know why, bro. Like, I could probably take green machine off and not really worry about that and probably do something else like volume shooter, comeback kid, clutch shooter, amped, anything like that. Um, which, with a guy like this, what they're going to do is they're going to leave you open a lot at the end of games. You got clutch shoot on Hall of Fame. You cashing them joints out, bro. So they're not going to be able to just leave you open like that. Um, so that's one thing that you can do. So like I said, man, it's going to make the shot a little bit quicker if you make that change. Um, I will tell you this. With that, you are trading. I'm telling you what you're doing if you do that. You're going to trade speed for consistency. So you will be a little bit faster and you will be noticeably faster the more you go toward uh, the more you go toward Pascal Siakam. But is it worth it? I don't think that it is. I changed it earlier and I just felt like I felt like I just wasn't nearly as consistent with this shot when I changed it. But as it is, or as as uh if you look at it like I have it and as I have it composed, I knew I was late on that one. Um if you look at it how I have it and how I have it composed, I think that that you're not gonna have any issues with shooting the shot, bro. But just just know that if you if you go toward Pascal Siakam, the shot it says that it gets slower, but I'm telling you. It is it's, it it gets quicker going that way. Even though it, it it'll eventually go down or what have you, it's uh it just it it's either quicker or it just changed the tail to where I can't tell where it is. It just feels quicker, and I don't understand why that is because some shots on um some shots are A pluses and they feel slower than shots that are A minuses. I don't know if it's like the gather if it because it changed the gather and stuff like that. And it could be because it changed the gather, but hey, it is what it is. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Did this joint work for y'all? Is it good? Uh, is it too slow? Fast enough? Whatever, man. And I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your, I knew I was going to miss that because I was tired. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Guys, speak. Guys, speak.